welcome back to Crafts with V. Now today I have another fantastic craft for you. Not only is it fun to make, it's fun to play with after as well. And it's made with a plastic cup, just like last time. So if you've got a whole load of plastic cups that need using up, you can make lots and lots of these. So it's a cup and ball game. So you have to be able to swish up oh, and catch it in the cup. Swish it up and catch it! Yes! <laughs> Let me see if I can do it again. Swish, 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 swoop, and yay! <laughs> Does it look like fun? It certainly is fun. Let's have a look what we need to do. So the first thing you need to do is decorate your piece of paper that's gonna go around the outside of your cup. So when my daughter did it, so she decorated it all rainbow, and then we've just stuck it around the outside. So this strip of paper is just a little bit smaller than the size of my cup. So I think my cup's about eight centimeters and this is about six and a half centimeters wide. You can check roughly how it fits and see when it goes round. So we will just have to cut a little bit off, but generally that's gonna fit. And that's just the width of a A4 piece of card. So. Decorate that however you like. Let's have a look how mine turns out. Yay! Spotty, spotty, spotty! And I can't wait to see what yours looks like too. I bet it looks fantastic. Now, before we stick this to the cup, we have to make a hole in the middle at the bottom. So if you watched my previous craft video with the pop-up animal, then you'll know how we did it before. So I'm just gonna use a drawing pin um, and you do need to ask an adult to help you with this. And just in the middle at the bottom, we're going to make a hole. I'm putting a little bit of pressure at each side, but my fingers are nowhere near where the spike's gonna come through. But please, please ask a grown-up to help you do that bit. So once you've got a little hole at the top, with your pencil, you are going to make it a bigger hole so that your string can fit through. So you're gonna to need to put pressure at either side so that your pencil can push against it. And you should have a hole at the bottom there like that, okay? So the next thing is some string. I'm gonna cut mine about the length of a ruler. So about 30 centimeters, okay? And once you've cut that, you need to push the string through the hole and grab it through, there it is, okay? And at one end, you need to tie a knot. So the end that's gonna be inside the cup, you need to tie a big knot. So you want to tie it so that it's not gonna come back through that hole. So it needs to be bigger than the hole. So do a few knots to make sure that it's a nice thick knot like that. And then when you pull it through, gonna get stuck there okay the next thing you need to do is to get your ball now again on the one that I made with my daughter she's used a polystyrene ball and we put a hole all the way through it but this time I'm going to use just a big pom-pom so if you've got a giant pom-pom that just needs to be stuck onto there okay so just with a bit of PVA glue I'm going to stick that onto there once that's dry you can stick your special sheet of paper around your cup. So you want to wrap it round so it's covering the whole thing. Okay, and just tape it at the end there. So it's just a little bit sticking up there, so I'm just gonna cut that off like that. Um, I'm just going to put a bit of tape around the top edge there so it doesn't fall off. And took over all the bits that's left over. Okay, and you should have a nicely decorated cup with your ball stuck on the end. And that is it! Have you got your cup and ball ready? So let it dangle, swish, 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 hoop. Ah, oh, missed. 
shall I have another go? Swish, 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 swoop, and yeah! <laughs> You'll have to see how many times you can catch your pom-pom in your cup. Yes! <laughs> Send me a picture or a video of you using your cup and ball. I would love to see it in action. And I will see you again soon for another craft. Bye!